Hey everybody, I am Chuck Rogers, a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist. And I'm Keith Dunn, and I am a network engineer. And again, I'm eternally grateful that he is a network engineer and that he's my network engineer. <laughs> it's so nice to have you in my pocket. I know, it's nice. <laughs> and together we are Tabletop Coffee, and each week we take a topic and we tear it apart and talk about it, and hopefully try to do life, do it well, be bold. And never ever bitter, and tonight... Man, don't talk about your feelings. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. It's a yeah. bad idea. Bad don't, idea. Don't talk about your feelings. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll show you how it's not done. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, you posed a question to me. I think one of us was driving. Yeah, I was actually in the car talking to you. About and, talking and sharing? Yeah, well, yeah. What I was talking about at the time was, you know, if you are wanting to open up a conversation with someone and it's on a touchy subject you know you're not going to agree on the topic you've already been down that road before mm -hmm. is there any way to open that up and have a, a better conversation about that topic lightning ride topics yeah so your question is are there topics that you should not talk about with somebody. Yeah. And and anybody. I mean, it's not just talking to someone who you're casually, you know, have a relationship with, but somebody who you are close to and you have close relationships mm. with. And so maybe there... there's been some friction about that topic? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you're not seeing eye to eye, and you know you're not going to see eye to eye on those topics. So why in the world would you bring that topic up with that person? I don't know. Just to try and make sure that you can smooth things out and make sure that the relationship is okay, I guess. Well, it always goes back to fear and dream. Oh, that's true. So the dream would be to possibly smooth the relationship out. Or my question to my client would be, if they ask this question of me, would be, to what end? Are mm -hmm. you bringing this conversation up with this person? Right. I mean, if it's a topic that you've been on, sometimes we, we don't we talk about tipping dominoes and we don't know the outcome for sure. Right. So you know, tip a domino and move in some direction so that you can have maybe a different outcome. Okay. So sometimes we embark upon a path and we don't know where that path is going. Right. But from what you're telling me, you're talking about a topic, an issue, where you've been on this path before. Mm. You've been on this path numerous times. You know this path very well. You even know where it will end and how it will end. Yeah, that's right. So, so why do it? So I guess the dream would be because I want to change the other person's thoughts mm. about something and change somebody's feelings about something. Yeah, I guess so. If they thought the way that I did, you know, you wouldn't have any problems at all, right? Yeah. And this is coming <laughs> up, especially, you know, the holiday season is upon us. Right. Families are gathering. Friends sure. are gathering. And, you know, people will typically bring up things that, are difficult topics and my question is why in the world would you bring that topic up yeah I mean so you know we're taught in school we're taught in graduate schools to oh share your feelings share your feelings with other people right <laughs> but sometimes we need to take a page from the book of Hayden Fox <laughs> from the the show coach from we've, coach from back in the 80s yeah we've we've talked about coach <laughs> before one time I think Christine was trying to get Hayden to talk about his feelings. And yeah. Hayden says, Bury it. Bury it with a shovel and then bury the shovel. <laughs> Just put them down deep. Yeah, so I would say sometimes you do. You bury that topic. You bury those feelings and you just refuse to go over that topic because you know exactly mm. what's going to happen. So would you say that really aligns itself with gridlock issues or loggerhead issues yeah okay so those types of issues that you really can't do anything about no. there's no way you're going to see eye to eye on it and you can't come to any type of resolution on it no you're not going to probably ever so go ahead and bury it and bury the shovel with it yeah and then you know maybe you, know, you and i have a a relationship where we can talk about lots of things and so if i want to talk about that topic right I'll maybe talk about it with you or 
okay. find somebody else to talk it through with, but I'm not going to go to that person who is in disagreement with me about it. Okay, so it's fine to have someone that you feel comfortable with to be able to share that with. Yeah, it is. It, because, you know, if I have a burden and you have a burden and we share about our burdens... Mm-hmm. It becomes a it, it shared be- burden. It does, and it becomes lighter somehow. <laughs> Right. It just does. And that makes sense. So you, you find a trusted friend to talk about that with or a therapist to talk about it with. Okay. But you don't talk about it with the person with whom you're in disagreement about. You know what's going to happen if you bring mm. this topic up. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. There you go. Hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you liked our content, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That would be great. It would make us feel really good. Would it make you feel yeah. good? Oh, it would make me feel great. And ding <laughs> that bell so you're notified of upcoming episodes as and well. please make sure to like it. Yep, share it with your friends. Thanks, everyone. Until next time. <laughs>